Hello, hello everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, in today's webinar, uh, we will be discussing our product in Works 2D. Uh, we will demonstrate how to simulate permanent magnet synchronous motor for no load and unload operation. Uh, before discussing today's agenda, let me introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Hassan, and I'm a sales engineer in EMWorks. And we'll have my colleague Aisha, who is an application engineer in EMWorks. She will be delivering uh, the technical part of uh, today's webinar. Our agenda for today is the following. I will briefly talk about our solution advantages uh, and benefits and what products we offer. Then my colleague will present the technical part. At the end of the technical presentation, I will talk about license, licensing, licensing services and various learning resources offered by EMWorks. Uh, so, I mean, the idea that lay behind integrating electromagnetic simulation software into a CAD tool is innovative and fresh. So, the idea is what happens con conventionally is if you want to use a new simulation software, you have to put tremendous effort and amount of time to learn a new modeling environment. First, and only after, you will be able to start your simulation. Furthermore, usually modeling features inside a simulation software is very primitive. It's not meant for complex geomet geometry. So why don't you get the privilege of using most arguably best CAD tools in the world, either SOLIDWORKS or Inventor? Uh, even if that is not the case and you already use your own CAD tools, uh, so now it's time to import your model into your simulation tools. But what if you want to change different parameters and geometries and see the result on the spot? Yes, you should export and import a lot of times. You have to switch between two software multiple times to reach the optimum result. That's why it's better to do everything, modeling and simulation, all in one place. So that's, that was the idea to address this issue. We are just inside your CAD tools, such as SOLIDWORKS or Autodesk Inventor. Uh, for example, for SOLIDWORKS, which is the best, power, powerful, po most powerful CAD tool with motion features currently, there were other plugins for other applications like mechanical and structural, but nothing for electromagnetic analysis. We honorably fill the gap and we are offering four different products for our valid customer users and customers inside this CAT tool. Our product, products are gold certified by Dassault Systems SolidWorks Corporation since 2008. So we offer four products uh, with various ads on covering a wide range of uh, frequency. Our first product is called EMS, which is used for electric and electromagnetic field modeling for low frequency applications. It covers many applications like insulators, cables, bus bars, permanent magnets, actuators, circuit breakers, uh, uh, transformers, motors, and so on. The second product is HFWorks, which is used for electromagnetic simulation of RF, microwave, high frequency, and high speed electrical and electronic devices. It covers application including a wide range of antenna, resonators, filters, connectors, waveguides, and etc. Our third and fourth product, the first one is EMWorks 2D, which offers static analyzes and covers the simulation of planar and axisymmetrical geometries. Uh, our latest edition is Motor Wizard, which is a template-based motor design software. It offers analytical and finite element 
analyzers for BLDC and PM motors. In addition to these solvers, we offer multi-physics solutions like thermal, motion, linear statics, and circuits. In today's webinar, we will utilize EMWorks 2D software to simulate a permanent magnet synchronous motor for no load and unload operation. I would now request Aisha to take over and present the next part of this presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ahsan, for your presentation. Hello, everyone. Since you are registered to this webinar, then you are really interested in PMSM simulation. So in this webinar, we will start with an introduction to permanent magnet motors. Uh, a solution to PMSM simulation is EMORC 2D. So we will tackle uh, this through presenting an overview of EMORC 2D its capabilities and how can we use it to simulate electric motors through different three case studies. So we have uh, Nissan Leaf, Prius and also Tesla 3 permanent magnet synchronous motors. And before moving to the questions, we will end up our presentation by a conclusion. To start with, a permanent magnet motor uses the permanent magnets in addition to the windings, to produce the magnetic field. So the permanent magnet motors has two types. We have permanent magnet synchronous motors, or PMSM, and you also have the brushless DC motor, BLDC. And they are both characterized by a high speed range uh, and also high efficiency. And some differences between these two types are presented in this table. So for example, in the supply, we have sine wave supply for the PMSMs, while we have the DC supply for the BLDC motors. Uh, and this leads to more complex control for the PMSMs compared to BLDC motors. Uh, we have a lot of applications to permanent magnet motors. And we can mention the robotics, the machine tools like the CNC, the servo motors, and also actuators for the industrial robots. So to sum up, the motivation behind using the permanent magnet motors is the fact that they are environmentally friendly, especially once charged from renewable energies, uh, and they have zero emissions. They are also quieter and performant, so they are widely used in the industry. So if you want to resume what we said and better explain our illustrated string of motor design, we will say that diesel cars are polluting our environment. So there have been a growth in the global environmentally friendly electric motor cars market, which are strongly dependent on electric motors. This leads to more research on how to optimize its performance, its control strategies, as well as EV charging time and techniques. As a researcher, you have to come up with design optimization techniques, accounting for various challenges, since such a process can be time and also money consuming. And if you granted three wishes of easiness of use, Time saving and affordable motor solution, our product EMWORK Study is the adequate solution which will come to rescue. Designers usually refer to finite element analysis in order to study the performance or optimize their models. EMWORK Study is an FEA package for electromagnetic simulation, fully embedded inside SOLIDWORKS, also allows uh, mechanical motion coupling. Its accuracy, reliability, and ease of use, besides its flexibility and intuitive workflow, make it uh, an efficient solution for motor designers. For example, let's say that you want to perform an optimization on a study geometry. In this case, you can use the CAD model directly in the same environment, which is solid works to save time and effort with a live synchronization of it inside EMWORK Studio. And if you have a 3D complex geometry, no need to worry. 
because then you can automatically convert it using the 2D simplification feature, to a 2D geometry, as illustrated in this given case of the SRM. Among EMRP's 2D capabilities, we can mention the capability to handle nonlinear materials, dynamic loss model, uh, excitations, as well as inductance computation, etc. With such capabilities, EMRP 2D has different output results, and you can mention for the transient solver, as an example, the circuit parameters computation, uh, the mechanical quantities such as the force and torque, the fields, and also the losses. And if used to study electric motors, uh, whether it's under no or on load operation, results such as back EMF, uh, cogging torque, air gap flux density, low torque, or core loss are given after running the studies. To define a new study in EMRX 2D, firstly you need to type the study name, uh, secondly you need to choose an analysis type, so in our case we have the transient magnetic, uh, thirdly check the solution parameters, then the time duration. Uh, you can also simulate on preference the core loss. Firstly, you need to define the coupling options, uh, which are like a motion coupling or also the circuit coupling, uh, and motion settings in the case of the motion coupling. Finally, select the coordinate system and also type the model length. On the right of this slide, we have a study tree in EMRX 2D, open defining a transient magnetic study. The workflow consists in applying the materials, the boundary conditions, the virtual work definition, which can be either the force or torque uh, calculation. Then you can also apply the mesh control and the excitation. As you know, defining the performance of electric motors, there are different studies to execute, like the no-load and on-load, accounting for the core loss in the rotor and stator parts, and also the eddy current loss in the PMs. If we take the uh, no-load cogging torque study, for example, uh, simulating one or a maximum of two periods of the cogging torque can be enough. Uh, we need to define the time duration consisting in the start, end, and step time, which is the end time divided by the number of steps. Uh, the speed is defined in a way that one millisecond is equal to one degree. Now, moving to the no-load flux linkage and induced voltage study. Let's suppose that the study frequency is 60 Hz, so the end time is equal to 1 divided by the frequency, while the step time is equal to the end time divided by the number of steps. The angular velocity in degree per second is defined by this given formula. Uh, so, the winding definition is also required in such a study, with a null DC current excitation. Now, if we move to the case of the on-load study, uh, we will see that the time, uh, duration, and speed definition are done in the same way as in the case of the no-load flux linkage study. However, we can set the end time to 0 0.03 seconds if you want to simulate one period and a half when adding the call loss effect. This is done by checking the call loss parameters when defining a study and setting its period to the original study period, which is equal to 1 divided by the frequency. Uh, it's to be noted as well that in this case, the motor will, will be running at uh, on load, thus the windings should be excited. Uh, for example, we can define a sinusoidal excitation, which can be following the current or voltage driven chorus definition. Then. Uh, we should uh, define the proper amplitude and phase angle. To better illustrate the PMSM simulation using EMRX 2D, uh, we will use three case studies of commercial motors. Firstly, Nissan Leaf motor has been modeled using SOLIDWORKS. Its parameters are listed in this table. Uh, so in this case study, I will show you a demo on how to use EMRX 2D software in order to simulate the no-load and on-load performance of the Nissan Leaf motor. 
Well, I have simulated the no-load and on-load performance of the Nissan Leaf motor using EMOX 2D uh, with the purpose to save time during this webinar. Still, I will show you the workflow to set a transient magnetic study inside EMOX 2D. Once you have a 2D model geometry which is designed inside the SOLIDWORKS environment. To begin with, we have a 2D geometry of the 2012 Nissan LEAF motor. It's equipped with 48 slots and double layer 8 row triples. We can see clearly that the PM0 partition in the first layer, so here, is V-shaped while the second layer is characterized by anterior PMs, which are radially segmented. We have here the EOMORC Study Manager, where all the studies are defined and one can note its full integrity inside the SOLIDWORKS CAD environment. So, to create a new study, we will first click on the Nissan LEAF assembly, then select Study. In the General Properties, type the study name. Then, change the analysis type to transient magnetic. In the solution parameters, we will check the results that we want to include in our study. Compute energy option is checked by default, and it returns the energy values of the model. While compute circuit parameters option is checked, in the case where we want to compute the resistance, inductance, and also flux linkage of the model. So we will check it in our case. Let us assume that this study will be on load with core loss computation. So for the time duration, we can keep the start time to 0 seconds. The end time will be equal to 1 divided by the frequency. And in our case, we have 50 Hz as frequency, which means the end time will be 0.02 seconds. However, we can compute more than one period. Now, let's just skip it to 0.02 seconds. And if you want to compute 30 steps, then in such a case, the step time will be the end time divided by the number of steps. To simulate the curl loss results, we first need to check the curl loss parameters option. Then, set the period of the source to 1 divided by the frequency, means 0.02 seconds. In the coupling analysis tab, we will indicate the type of coupling. We have two options, either the rotational motion, and it's the case where we have a rotatory part or more in our model, or coupling to circuit where we have an external excitation and all windings are part of a circuit. So by checking the rotational motion, we should first indicate the velocity type. We have constant velocity, and it's the case of a fixed speed, or dynamic velocity in the case of time-varying speed. We will choose constant velocity. In this case, the angular velocity in degree per second is equal to 120 multiplied by the frequency which is 50 Hz multiplied by 6 which is the conversion from RPM to degree per second divided by 8 which is the number of row triples. The initial angle is 0 degree. In the motion coupling, the rotation angle is defined as a global variable in the assembly mix. And then, it's automatically imported in the transient magnetic study of EOMORX 2D. And here we can notice how much the integrity of EOMORX 2D inside SOLIDWORKS is easy and also time-saving. In the moving components, I will select the moving parts. Since they consist of the rotor core and also the PMs and the shaft, which are already defined in the rotor sub-assembly, then we can simply and directly click on the rotor sub-assembly. For the band component, I will select the band part englobing all the moving components from the SOLIDWORKS tree. In the 2D geometry tab, we will firstly indicate the solution type. Since our geometry is defined in the XY plan, then we will select planner and choose the local coordinate system defined in the SOLIDWORKS study tree. 
In the case where our model geometry has a rotational symmetry about an axis, we can check instead the axisymmetric RZ. In the model length, we'll define the length of the motor in the Z direction. Let's enter 150 millimeters. Now, we have defined the study initial parameters. So, I will click on OK to set the study. So this is our created study, and you can observe that it's the same architecture as described earlier in our presentation. Here in the materials section, we'll define the materials for all the 2D geometry surfaces. For the PMs, we have the N30 UH magnet material, which is already applied in the previous studies. So we can use the recent applied materials option. And if you want to check the material parameters, in this case, we can right click on the surface, then select edit material. For the rotor and stator cores, we have the AZ1010 steel material characterized by the call loss function. So first, we can select both the rotor and stator core parts and click on apply material. We can choose the AZ1010 steel material from the nonlinear magnetic materials folder. Here, the defined material doesn't have the call loss parameters, so next we can edit them in order to add these properties. To add the material call loss function, we will click on the surface body, then select edit material. We can set the lamination properties to lamination in plan, with a stacking factor of 0.95. The call loss property type is laminated steel, and the call loss is defined via call loss function. The asterisk coefficient of this material is 202. The eddy current coefficient is 0 0.116, while the excess coefficient is 3.31. We can also repeat this process for the stator core. The shaft, the band, and the outer air are defined as air materials. So we can select them, go to favorite materials, then choose air. Now, we still have the coils which are defined as copper. We can highlight them, then click on apply material. Next step, we'll choose copper from the conductor material folder then select Apply and Close. Before moving to the next section, we should define the coercivity direction of the PMs. The PMs are rectangular shaped, so their coercivity directions are defined through local coordinate systems inside SOLIDWORKS. I will show you an example of how to set the coercivity direction of two PMs. Now, if you want to know how to define the local coordinate system inside SOLIDWORKS, I advise you to visit our YouTube channel where we have guided step-by-step -step tutorials. For this webinar, I'll consider them as already set. So, at first, we'll right-click on the PM surface and select Coercivity Direction. In the coordinate system, select the appropriate coordinate system from the SOLIDWORKS tree. Then, 
select the direction type as Cartesian. The direction will be according to the y-axis and reversed since it's about a south PM. We can also see a preview of the PM coercivity direction by checking show preview option. In the same way, we can define the coercivity direction of the next magnet, except that this time it's a north PM. Therefore, its direction isn't reversed. To simulate the eddy effects on the PMs, we will first select them, then click on Turn on Eddy Effects. The setting of the boundary conditions is crucial when performing any simulation. In our case, we will define a null magnetic vector potential on the outer air edge. I'll right-click on Load Restrain, then select Magnetic Vector Potential. In the Select Entities tab, I will choose the outer air region edge, and of course, I need first to show the outer air part. The magnetic vector potential will be null. Then, I will click on OK. In the force strokes, we will define the parts for which we want to compute either the force or torque quantity. I will select Virtual Work, then I will select in the select faces the surfaces of the moving components. the settings, I will uncheck force, uncheck torque, since I want to compute the torque. Then I will click on OK. In the mesh control, I can specify for example a mesh on the outer band edge. So I'll right click on mesh controls, then apply mesh control. Here we have select faces, but here we have select edge. In our case, I will select the band edge in the Select Entities tab. Then, I will set the control parameter to 0.25 mm. Since you are running our model under onload operation, then you should define the windings. For the sake of time saving, I'll create the phase A winding consisting of outer and inner coils. Now I'll select stranded winding. In the general properties tab, I can change its name to phase A. The coil type can be either current or voltage driven, where you can define either a current or voltage excitation source. In the number of parallel paths, I will set it to 2. In the current source tab, I will choose sinusoidal current source, then specify the current parameters. For the damping factor, we have a null value. The frequency is 50 Hz. The current amplitude is 250 amperes. The current offset 
is 0 ampere, while the pulse delay time is minus 0 0.015. For the B and C phase shifts, we will add the curl to the pulse delay value the 120 degree shift each time, which corresponds to the period divided by 3. Now, we can add the wound coils defined on the surfaces. I will first select Keep Visible so that I can keep the coil properties for the next defined coils. Then, select the A plus coil surfaces in the Entities tab. In the General Properties tab, I will change the coil name to A+, then I will define the General Properties. So the coil diameter will be 0 0.8425 mm, and you also have 6 turns. For the A- coils, we have the same properties, except that its current direction will be reversed. So, we need to check reverse direction. Then, I will go back to the Entities tab to select the corresponding core surfaces. Once you define all the study parameters, right-click on the created study, then select Run. Since I have previously done the no and onload simulations in order to save time, I'll go through some performance results of the Nissan Leaf motor. In the cogging torque analysis, we can view for example the cogging torque versus the rotor angle. From this curve, we can observe a maximum value of the cogging torque of 8 newton meter and also a null average value. We can also view the no load magnetic flux density. From the field mapping, one can note that the magnetic field is higher in the stator teeth when these latters are facing the PMs. In the no-load study, we can refer to the results table to plot first the induced voltage versus time. From this curve, one can note some harmonics affecting its sinusoidal shape. And second, we can plot the no-load flux linkage versus time. In the onload voltage fed analysis with curl loss, we can first view the onload torque versus time in the case of a voltage source. We can also view the three phased currents versus time. In the onload current fed analysis with core loss, we can view the onload torque versus time in the case of a sinusoidal current source. The average torque value at a speed of study of 4500 
Degree-Bruch second is approximately evaluated to 152 newton meter. We can also view the stator and rotor call loss results. We can view the unload flux density mapping. And also, we can plot the solid loss of the PMs following the definition of an eddy on effect. In this slide, we gather the main no load results of the Nissan Leaf motor, like we saw earlier. And in this slide, we have the Nissan Leaf unload results with call loss. Now I'll move to the next case studies. Their analysis using Eomorgs 2D is done in the same way as shown in the Nissan Leaf simulation case. Thus, I will just show you the results obtained following their simulation using Eomorgs 2D software. In the second case study, we have the 2004 Prius motor equipped with 48 slots and 8 V-shaped rotor poles. The single layer windings are made of three phases. The motor has been designed using SOLIDWORKS, while its parameters are listed in this table. In this slide, we have the no-load study results. For example, for the cogging torque versus the rotor angle curve, the maximum value is equal to approximately 3 newton meter, and it has a null average value. The induced voltage versus time curve presents some harmonics, so we can see them here. And here, the flux density mapping shows the saturation at the end of the pole bridges. In this slide, we have illustrated the unload torque versus time curve, and one can notice uh, an average low torque value of 320 newton meter. Uh, the winding losses here and core losses can also be simulated, like the stator and rotor losses. We can also derive from them the asterisis, eddy, and excess losses. The third and last case is concerning the Tesla 3 motor. Its 2D geometry is illustrated in this figure. Now, the Tesla 3 motor is equipped with 54 slots and 6 V-shaped rotor poles. The double layer windings are made of three phases. Following the simulation of the Tesla 3 motor with Eomorps 2D software, we obtained first the no-load uh, results as you can see here. Secondly, we obtained the on-load results following sine wave current fed coils. So here the excitation curve versus time. Uh, and we have here, for example, the onload torque versus time curve. We also obtained the loss results accounting for the solid loss mapping when applying energy on effect on the PMs. In this webinar, we have learned what are the basic analysis required to study the performance of PM machine. We have also learned how to create a study in Eomorgs 2D software, how to set up the no-load and on-load analysis in Eomorgs 2D, and also what are the results provided in each study. If you are further interested, we have step-by-step -step tutorials in our YouTube channel as well as application notes in our website. And, and now, I'll give the presentation back to my colleague Ahsan, and at the end, we'll be answering your questions. Thank you very much, everyone, for your presence and also your attention. Thank you, Aisha. And uh, thank you, everyone, for bearing with us, and I hope you have learned enough from this webinar so far. Let me briefly uh, touch up on the licensing structure offered by EMWorks. Uh, we offer three different programs, commercial, academic, and startup programs. Each program um, has its own benefits and requirement. Within the commercial program, we offer perpetual or lifetime licenses, while our licensing structure is usually annually based on the rest of the programs. 
we have a combination of free and paid licenses licenses for students, academics, mentors, lecturers, and professors based on the program they choose. And for startups, we are offering a very interesting plan for paying in install installments. Uh, for the learning resources, EMWorks offer various various free learning resources uh, with the software uh, with the software purchase or trial users can access to to the demo viewer section of the software through which they can access many predefined ready to solve models and examples and tutorials uh, in addition we have regular webinar series on trending electromagnetic topics Moreover, we post several several application notes, blogs, and videos videos on our uh, web page and social media channels regularly. We also offer paid customized training sessions to all users of EMWorks software. Our support service is the strongest point that I can mention in this presentation. We always have your back before and after sales. That is including one-to-one -one web demo sessions to shorten your uh, learning curve or even do benchmarking with the model that you shared with us. Also, we offer uh, consultation and design engineering services, even come up with a new design as per your requirement or refine and optimize your existing design. Uh, these are only a couple of our valid clients. These big names are coming from different industries showing our comprehensive and extensive solution. Uh, at the end, I encourage uh, everyone to try our software and experience its capabilities. We offer two weeks of free trial access, trial, uh, trial access. Uh, visit our webpage, emworks.com, go to our contact page, fill in your information to submit your request, and we will contact you. Uh, at the end, uh, I would like to thank you all on behalf of EMWorks for participating in this webinar. Feel free to contact us uh, after this webinar to get more information on our products. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day.